peace and palo santo sticks to my fiery aries fiery aries it's your girl lika welcome to my channel cars fly lika and today or to those who do not know i do freestyle readings and that's basically where i let my spirit guides and my angels and my intuition guide me to which deck of cards um, is appropriate for each person or group of people that i do a reading for and today the decks that we will be working with are, drum roll, African Goddess Rising Oracle Deck, Love Oracle Cards, and then I think I'm going to also do uh, my handwritten Oracle Cards as well, okay? So that's how this is going to go. Let's get right into it. I want to start off by clearing the energy in my home and yours. Take some deep breaths. Breathe along with it if you like. Uh, let's get to it. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. So to start off, I'm going to use my African Goddess Rising deck. Y'all love this deck. I just do. And the author that really um, made it, um, she like basically takes all the African goddesses and give them a voice and a backstory. Like, you know, you got certain people you'll hear about like Medusa or um, Queen of Sheba or like, you know, just different goddesses that you've probably heard about in your lifetime. And you'd be like, you you know them to hear about them, but you don't know the backstory of them or like where they maybe originate from, unless that's some something that you actually study and look into. But that's what I love about her. So it kind of starts off with uh, the backstory of the goddess itself and then the advice. All right, Spirit Gods, Angels, Ancestors, Universe, clear and accurate messages for my Aries. Clear and accurate messages for my Aries. What is it that their spirit guides, their angels, their ancestors want them to know at this time? Please block out any interferences as I get these messages across. Any negative energy being sent my way, please just return it back to sender. Protect my space. Allow me to open up my third eye to dive deeper into my intuition to get further clarification of the cards that come out today open up my third chakra so I can give accurately interpret the messages that come up today for my Aries thank you so much spirit Ashe. let's get to it y'all use this to get overall energy and then we'll build the message from here Clear and accurate messages for my Aries. Clear and accurate messages for my Aries. What is it that their spirit guides, their angels, their ancestors want them to know at this time? Shit. Y'all got some shit going on. <laughs> Said here, because we need to talk to them. Okay. So I have manifestation for the first card. Oh, shit. Manifestation for the first card. 
And the next card I have, Shine. I'm going to just take these two cards because I don't want to take a whole bunch at once. Use these two cards and build the message from here. But Spirit did have a lot to say. I wonder if I should pull a third one. Should I? I feel like I should. One more for Aries, Spirit. What is it that their spirit guys, their angels, their ancestors want them to know? Them cars flew out, didn't they, y'all? And then we have worthiness. I don't know what y'all got going on, but it's looking nice. It's looking real nice. All right, the numbers are 9, 32, 14. Those numbers could be significant, uh, significant to you. And this is for our Aries placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, South Node. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. And understand that these messages are time fluid, so this can apply to past, present, or future. All right, so the first one we have is manifestation. All right, you're probably in your good manifestation er um, energy right now. Let's see. So we have Majaji. All right, so Majaji, goddess of manifestation. She's from South Af Africa. Her temple is conjurers. Her element is water. Goddess Majaji is the hereditary reign queen of South Africa's Balobudu, Bedu people. I'm going to be honest, y'all. It's a lot of African words, African names, and they be tearing my ass up. I ain't even going to lie. Um, it says <laughs> she's a, a queendom. Majaji's daughter danced to the frequency of rain. I'm going to be honest. Anyway, her goddess to you is shower of blessings are yours you are a rainmaker master manifester shapeshifter alchemist and sorceress open your hands and heart embodiment it says yes make it rain you're manifesting big this has been a long time coming and you are co-creating with spirit so anything that you're trying to manifest right now understand you are not doing it alone there are divine forces that are also working in your favor at this time it says, yes, make it rain. You're manifesting big, and this has been a long time coming. You are co-creating with spirit. It says, match the energetic frequency, uh, energetic frequency, the ashe of your desire. You're a magnetic, and like attracts like. Raise your vibration to align with the sacred. Close your eyes and see your blessings. Fill them in your bones. Ask, believe, act, allow, receive. Goddess declaration, divine blessings flow to me so easily. So what spirit really wants you to do, and this is this is the, um, my takeaway from the message, is match the vibrational frequency of what it is that you want. So don't actually wait. You don't wait for your new car to feel like you got the new car. You already know that it's yours. You already know that it's coming. So get happy today. Don't wait to actually have these things in your possession to fill them. And honestly, the law of attraction, the way it works, it's not just knowing that you're worthy of something or knowing that you're going to have it. It's also filling it as if it's already yours. And watch just how much faster you manifest what it is that you want. Okay, we're going to move on to the next card, which is Mama de Jumbo. I literally just had this for Gemini and I love the backstory on it because it was like, wow, never even fucking knew. And that's what I like. You have these certain goddesses names that you'll hear. Like I heard it before, but I don't really know. No, like, <laughs> um, but anyway, let's find her in here. 64. All right. So um, goddess of shine. She's from Guinea. Her temple is. Gryots, I don't know what that means, y'all. G-R-I-O-T-S. Her element is bush. It says, Goddess Mama de Jambo glitters as guardian of the lush green forest of Guinea. If her name sounds familiar, it's because Mama de Jambo's name was misconstrued by colonizers and replaced with the term Mumbo Jumbo. We have all heard the name Mumbo Jumbo. Well, this is where it comes from. Mumbo Jumbo is not just like gibberish or just a bunch of bullshit it actually comes from this goddess right here so that's super dope um i know when i just read it for gemini i'm like oh wow i love learning something new and i just learned something they say you learn something new every day and I, I learned that today all right so it says her name was misconstrued by colonizers and replaced with the term mumbo jumbo meaning gibberish still she shines still she the shit okay and this is another thing this is the other message that i get from this card i don't just look at the the 
the guidebook or my intuitive messages or the, the messages that I channel from spirit as the as the message itself. I also look at the picture on the card. And when you look at this picture, I just get really firm, solid foundation. Look how fucking thick that the trunk of that tree is. And how just just green and life filled that this is. I feel like whatever it is that you guys are manifesting or trying to manifest in your life, you're manifesting it on a very firm foundation. And then when we get this other card, um, it's like the confirmation that you're worthy of everything it is that you're manifesting. Law of attraction, knowing that you're worthy of it and you fucking deserve it and feeling like you have it before you even get it because it's already yours. These headphones, bro. I promise I'm going to get a microphone because this is not it. But anyway, <laughs> Mama Dejumbo. So it says, her guide, her Mama Dejumbo's guidance to you. It says, you were born to shine, be seen, be heard, be a movement. We need to know your name. We want to learn your dance. Daring to rise and shine starts with the courage to be seen and heard. Your story matters and someone needs to hear it. Fear of shining brightly keeps you in the shadows, hiding and shrinking. There was no way to claim your voice and avoid rejection, criticism and judgment. But you are not for everybody. If everyone likes you, you are not really being you. Goddess declaration, I am ready to be seen and heard. I feel like there is an Aries that needs to understand that you. Not to care about the opinions of others, how people view you. Oh, I don't want to post that because people might think. What do people might think? What do people think I'm doing too much? Or And Spirit is just saying, get out of that. I don't know why I'm hearing that I'm supposed to say that. That you don't need to give a fuck about what it is that people feel, what they think, how they view you. At the end of the day, we only got one life to live. Well, honestly. You know, I'm a spiritual being. So I do believe that, you know, we were here in past lives. Our souls live on. However, as far as this physical body is concerned, we only got one time in this motherfucker. So do it to the fullest. I would hate to be on my deathbed and be like, damn, I really wanted to shake my ass here and there, but I never did it because people wanted, might look at me like this or that. And at the end of the day, I'm in this casket by myself. Ain't nobody coming with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> it's just like, I just get this feeling like, you know, live your life how the fuck you want to live your life. Shine brightly. Show, show yourself because understand that you ain't going to be everybody's cup of tea any goddamn way. You're not going to be everybody's flavor. And that's quite all right. You know, everybody has their own little group of their own little soul tribe, people that accept them or love them for what they do. There have been a million people you've seen. Also, like, that's why I love social media. You be on social media like she look about crazy as hell. But then you'll look, look, check them comments out. And there be some people that really fuck with her. You got a large ass following. You be like, I just don't get it. It ain't for you to get. That's not your cup of tea, but it's somebody else's. Okay. All right. So the next one we have is worthiness. A tet, a tetty. I don't know how you pronounce it, y'all. I'm just winging it. I'm just winging it. This thing is so fucking tight. Ooh, boy. How about I just unzip it? That helps. All right. Y'all see, I got my healing frequencies playing in the background. I thought that'd be a nice little touch to the reading. But anyway, so her temple is Warriors. Um, she's from or or Oma, Ethiopia. She's the goddess of worthiness. Her temple is Warriors. Her element is Bush. Great goddess Atetsi, queen of the gods, is a fierce protector of women and girls. For the Aroma people of Ethiopia. A test guidance to you is stop hiding, shrinking, and playing small. So absolutely, this is another confirmation of the same card that we got before. Spirit is definitely saying, I feel like I'm talking to a group of Aries that may be a little bit insecure. Or, or need to just work on their security. Being a little bit more secure and self-confident. And, um, you know... Some things, it's so much easier said than, like, be more confident. Like, you know, just go for it. Like, sometimes things are a little bit deeper than just telling somebody to do it. Sometimes it can be an imbalance of your chakras. So if you're feeling, if you're a person who feels really shy, 
and you know just afraid to take certain risks it can be an imbalance of a chakra and um the chakras that I typically would tell somebody to focus on and I can I I can definitely give this advice because I'm someone who's working on these things within myself it's the lower chakras so your root chakra your sacral chakra your solar plexus chakra those are very very important chakras those are where you house your self-confidence um I say to focus on your root, your root chakra is not really you, where you house your self-confidence, but I say to focus on that because that is the foundation chakra. So you build all the chakras off the root chakra. So you want to make sure that you're focusing on that one and then your sacral chakra. That's where you hold a lot of your self, um, a lot of your creativity and things like that. A lot of your, your, a lot of your self-worth and your power is in your solar plexus chakra. And in order to do that, or my advice to be to focus on those chakras, to open up those chakras or to remove any blockage, blockages that you have in those chakras is meditation or yoga. Okay. Um, and I, I mean, it's so easy to kind of go about it. If you like, you're a person who's a beginner, you never really meditated. You never did any yoga, go to YouTube. I personally go to YouTube for guided meditation. You can go look up um, guided meditations for my root chakra, guided meditation for solar plexus chakra, guided meditation for sacral chakra, but you do want to do them in order. So you want to start with your root, then you want to do your sacral, then you want to work on your, uh, solar plexus chakra. You can find either, uh, yoga or meditation for these different chakras. And I um, genuinely just, uh, advise you to do that. Okay. But anyway, um, it says stop shrinking and playing small, stand tall like the majestic sycamore tree. <laughs> this one. Anyway, um, you are mighty. Life does not need to be perfect for you to embrace your own perfection. You matter. Worthiness is in your veins. Accept yourself now. Your birth certificate says that we need your overflowing magic, joy, and vulnerability. And most importantly, we need you. You are deserving and worthy. The beautiful parts of you that everyone likes are worth loving. The parts, all oh, the parts that you or others dislike are worth loving too. Your creator loves you unconditionally. God is declaration. Say to yourself, I matter. You matter regardless if a motherfucker is giving you the validation to tell you that you matter or not. You fucking matter. You're beautiful even if people don't acknowledge that you're beautiful. You're intelligent even if people don't acknowledge that you're intelligent. You're a creative, powerful being even if people don't acknowledge that you're a creative, powerful being. And when you stand in that, you just, you put this aura around you where actually it's, it's going to be hard for people not to notice it. So stand in that power. Okay. All right. Beautiful message. Beautiful, 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 beautiful message for my lovely Aries. Um, I'm not really feeling like I'm supposed to go to love, but I'll pull them just, in, just because I said that I was, but intuitively I'm not feeling like I'm supposed to. It's like sometimes depending on the cars that I get and the overall energy will tell me where I'm supposed to go next. And the feeling that I'm getting is just not love. I'm feeling like there's some personal because in my in my personal opinion, it's like love is cool and all. But like you gotta get right with yourself for love to even fucking be anything. Like to be anything worth living, you need to be whole and great within yourself. And I feel like spirit is I'm getting this 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 message that spirit is wanting you to focus on you. Everything else will fall into place naturally when it comes to love. But in order to actually manifest the love that you want, I think focusing on you is the, the, the best focal point right now. So I'm not getting the intuitive nudge to pull from the lover's oracle card. So I'm not. So I'm not. But um, I'm going to I am going to use my handwritten oracle cards just to get some messages from spirit. Okay. Spirit gods, angels, oh, ancestors, some cards for my beautiful Aries. To be honest, these are like the worst to shuffle. Here I got it. 
you know, my thing be to like, let them fly. All right. So what I have on the top here is there is a greater outcome. Stay faithful. It's under it. I don't really care what's under. I want to see what's on the top. Why the hell did I not put it down? I put it back in the damn deck. I wasn't supposed to do that. All right, this one wants to come out. It says, trust in yourself and the universe. This one wants to show itself. It says your person or divine counterpart is not your usual type. What else? All right. This one wants to show itself. It says you are ascending to greater heights. Yep, what did I say? This one fell right side up, so I'm taking it. And it says, focus on you for a while. I don't want to take the ones under it, just the one that's showing on top. Well, the one that's under it says toxic friend, just FYI. But this one says, focus on you for a while. All right, what else? For my beautiful Aries, my fiery Aries. Y'all, I'm still learning how to shuffle the fucking handwritten cards because it's like they're paper and they're so fucking thin. <laughs> hey, yo, say, say this isn't like your overall message. It says share your talents with the world. What else for my Aries? Oh, Spirit is so working today. Thank you so much, Spirit. Oh, you're working so good today. I love it. I just love it. There is a greatest one to show itself. There is a greater outcome. Stay faithful. Oh, that one tried to, that came out twice, right? I think, right? I think I read that one before. I think that's the one I put back in the deck. Go for it. Wedding bells? All right. All right, Aries, this has been your message. Like, comment, and subscribe. I genuinely appreciate it. If this resonated with you, please leave some comments and just subscribe.